This is Utilsat's EB9B, a new telecommunications satellite undergoing final preparations at Airbus's clean room in Toulouse. Almost half of this satellite is composed of a big payload called EDRSA. EDRS, or the European Data Relay System, is designed to transmit data to the ground from low Earth orbiting satellites, such as those used for Earth observation or the International Space Station. EDRS is comprised of two space nodes, EDRSA and EDRSC, both in geostationary orbit and utilizing a laser link to communicate with other satellites in low Earth orbits. EDRS essentially has two advantages over conventional data relay systems. The first one is that through the use of the laser high-speed link, it facilitates transfer of very high amounts of data in very short periods of time. The second advantage is that because it sits in a geostationary position overseeing the whole Earth and low Earth orbiting satellites orbit entirely, it has almost permanent contact to the low Earth orbiting satellite and therefore facilitates data transfer at any point in time and in near real time to the ground. Without EDRS, low Earth orbiting satellites are only able to make contact with their ground stations a few times a day and for a very limited period of time. By relaying their data via laser link to EDRS, the information can be sent to users on the ground almost continuously. What we also have is a feature that enables a user on the ground to send telecommands via our system to their own satellite. The advantage there is that when their own satellite is out of visibility of their own ground stations, they can still command their satellite, possibly task them with taking new images or do whatever they wish through our system. And that is called fast forward tasking. By offering this kind of flexibility, EDRS can play a crucial role in relaying data during times of crisis. For instance, satellite imagery might be required to protect people or assets on the ground when disaster strikes. In these situations, the real-time data provided by EDRS could prove extremely valuable. This innovative system is the result of a public-private partnership between ESA and Airbus, relying on the combined strength of both public and commercial partners. EDRS is built on a very innovative technology, which is a laser communication technology. At the same time, EDRS's purpose is to uh, allow the emergence of a new market, which is the market of relay services. Thus, this ambitious program carries both technical risk and commercial risks. The role of ESA in uh, programs such as EDRS is really to alleviate uh, most of the technical risks, whilst the role of the private partner is to carry most of the commercial risks. EDRS commercial services will start in 2015 after the launch of the first node EDRSA, with the system becoming the first fully commercial laser link based data relay service in the world. For ESA, EDRS is the first step towards the creation of worldwide data relay services called GlobeNet. <laughs>